Hi everyone, this is Vincent Thiel from HTTV Test here. I'm here in London attending LG UK's Roadshow where I'm spending some time with the LG B7 series of OLED television. Now the B7, we haven't actually seen it before. Obviously we know that it exists, but at CES and even in San Francisco three weeks ago, we've only cast eye on the flagship W7, the E7, and maybe the we probably haven't seen the G7 or C7, but this is definitely the first time I've personally cast eye on the B7. Now the B7 comes in two screen sizes, 55 inches and 65 inches. This is the 55 inch version. The exact model number is OLED 55B7V. From the design point of view, what LG is trying to do is to create a really minimalistic look. And to achieve that, they've actually been brave enough to take away the logo. Normally on LG screens, there will be an LG logo at the bottom bezel, either you know embedded it within the bezel or hanging downwards. But they've taken that out of the equation whatsoever for the B7. And instead, they are putting their branding on this very, very stylish crescent stand instead which is finished in metallic silver and I'm informed by LG that the substance is actually metallic in the makeup so the whole ensemble has a very, very clean minimalistic look about it that lets users or owners just basically focus on the picture quality the screen is flat LG doesn't have any curved screen this year even the C7 it is a flat screen this year so the screen is flat and basically the crescent stand just give a slightly recessed look to the whole picture so that the picture actually comes to the fore and you can enjoy the superb picture quality of OLED televisions when you look at the remote control that is bundled with the LG B7, it looks very, very similar to the Magic Remote that is bundled with last year's B6 and C6. It's a, basically an oval one. But what's new that has been introduced are two dedicated Netflix and Amazon buttons on the bottom of the remote, which allow any 4K streaming junkies to directly access Netflix 4K and Amazon Prime Video content directly from the remote with one press of the button without needing to navigate through the user menu. In terms of picture quality, the LG B7 will feature the same WRGB panel from LG Display and also the same SOC that system on chip as the top end W7 and step down G7, E7 and C7 series. So there should be similar picture quality across the board. What this means is that from what we have seen of the W7 in San Francisco, basically what this means is better above black handling versus the 2016 models, much less aggressive ABL algorithm. ABL stands for Automatic Brightness Limiter, so you can get a high average picture level picture uh, that gets brighter than last year's model and upscaling has been improved slightly as well and also another good news for gamers is that they've taken input lag down to 21 milliseconds in both SDR and 4K HDR mode. One thing that I actually forgot to mention in my previous videos regarding LG OLED is the presence of this neutral black polarizer that actually absorbs the reflections from screen making the blacks on screen look truly inky black. On last year's model, and LG was actually not the first manufacturer to point this out, some other rival manufacturers have actually pointed this out as well, that last year's LG OLEDs, when light actually hits the screen, there's a slight magenta purplish kind of tint to it. Now LG has taken this feedback on board and applied this NBO, stands for Neutral Black OLED. So this polarizer, they're not using the polarizer for 3D, but they're using it for a better use that rejects the ambient light very, very effectively and creates a really, truly inky black even in the presence of ambient light during daytime or in a non-dark room when you do your viewing. Uh, so that is something that I certainly haven't actually highlighted before, but today it is especially obvious to me in this sort of environment where there's some spotlights actually shining on the television that the blacks can really disappear into the background, become truly absolute zero CDM square black. In terms of HDR support, LG is the only manufacturer that supports four HDR formats, which is HDR10, HLG, and also Dolby Vision and Technicolor. Now, out of the box, without needing to update the firmware whatsoever, the LG B7, and this applies to the C7, the E7, the G7, and the W7 as well, will support HDR10, let's say from 4K Blu-rays or from Amazon Streaming, HLG, let's say from BBC 4K Trial, and Dolby Vision content, the first disc will probably arrive this summer. So 
the LG 2017 OLED will support these three HDR formats out of the box without re needing any firmware upgrade and technical uh, HDR support will arrive at a later date. So in terms of the HDR support, the LG 2017 OLED televisions will support these formats through all the possible connections, basically OTT like Netflix and Amazon through the USB drive and also through set-top boxes through the HDMI ports so owners won't get left out. As mentioned before, LG's 2017 OLED will support HLG, that's Hybrid Log Gamma, which is the broadcast HDR standard out of the box without requiring any firmware update. And lucky owners can now experience a BBC iPlayer HLG trial of Planet Earth 2 directly from their TV. The way to do this is to go into your iPlayer app and we'll just wait for it to load. And then you go to settings and there's an option there that's called try new features in iPlayer beta and if we click it play Ultra HD trial and you can see that it's clearly kicked into HDR mode which means that it's recognizing the HLG encoding format hybrid lock gamma And yes, this is just a scene from Planet Earth 2 that users can start enjoying. And it's a fantastic looking clip anyway, and OLED just does justice to this clip with regards to the vibrant colors, the amount of detail, the depth and vibrance of the image that is actually shown on screen. In terms of the availability of this range in the UK, I'm informed that the B7 will be available to buy from various retailers, but the C7 will be a Curry's and PC World exclusive. This is similar to last year, I think, when the C6 was an exclusive of the DSG group as well. So the C7 can only be bought from Curry's and PC World. The retail price for both are the same. So the 55-inch version will retail at £3,000, whereas the 65-inch version will retail around £4,500. Although LG is going premium with their signature W series flagship OLED, the G7, and also maybe with the picture on glass design of the of the E7. But what LG is bringing to the market compared with other manufacturers is mass market product in the sense of the most affordable OLED screens on the market. So you won't see a 55 inch 3,000 pound screen from let's say the likes of Panasonic and Sony even though they have rejoined the OLED fray this year certainly I think LG is doing a lot to offer more choices to consumers and I predict that just on the price alone the B7 and the C7 will be the most popular models thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this video please click the like button and subscribe to the HTTV test YouTube channel for more videos like this I'll see you the next time